A name change to suit a new focus. A Charlotte area nonprofit wants to keep up with the times and embrace inclusivity. So what was once Girls Rock is now called We Rock. WCNC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden shows us why the group sees the change as a way to seek solutions. The nonprofit is the local arm of a national organization, and they say they chose to make this big move because they're all about inclusivity, and their name just didn't reflect that. Girl Rock has been around since 2014. Not anymore. Language and identity is very important right now. We want to reflect that. And with the name change, we want to be more open to serving the needs of the community. The nonprofit went from using the name Girls Rock to We Rock. I think the mission to be more inclusive to not just girls, but to also trans kids and uh, non-binary kids is really what's pushing the name change because we want everybody to feel that acceptance. Georgia is a high school junior who has been participating in the organization's camp since she was 13. We Rock uses music to help young people express themselves, empowering them by teaching them to play instruments. For years, the group pledged to help young people feel comfortable in their own skin. It's such a great environment. You're able to express who you are without any repercussions or anything. You're truly accepted by everybody. But in recent years, the leadership team and some of the longtime campers realized the term girls in the name sent the wrong message. Girls Rock really genders what we're doing, and that's like the opposite of what we're trying to accomplish. Especially at a time when some states are passing legislation stifling the rights of gay and trans kids. And we're here to say you can be what you want to be, whatever that is. We're here to embrace that. They need a place to just come and be able to be themselves and not have their guard up, a place where they can come and be with other rebel kids. A place they say that by embracing inclusivity, false creativity, helping teens to find their voice. In Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte.